What is a moment? The easiest way to understand moments is with some hands-on experience. The next time you walk through a door, push on the door as far away from the hinge as you can. The door will swing open really easily. Then move your hand just a few inches away from the hinge and try pushing again. You'll have to push a lot harder to open the door than before. This is because of moments. A moment is similar to a force, but it causes an object to rotate rather than move in a straight line. Like forces, moments are vectors with a magnitude and direction. The magnitude of a moment is equal to the magnitude of a force multiplied by the shortest distance between the line of action of that force and a point of rotation. In the case of the door, the point of rotation is the hinge. Assuming that you push perpendicular to the door, the shortest distance between the point of rotation and the line of action of the force is the distance between the hinge and the place you push on the door. It can be helpful to look at what this equation means geometrically. If we take the distance from the hinge to the force, and the size of the force, and use those to draw the sides of a rectangle, then the area of this rectangle represents the magnitude of the moment. The bigger the moment, the faster it can make an object rotate. This is what the moment looks like when you push at the far edge of the door. The reason you have to push harder when you push closer to the hinge is because the force has to get bigger to create a moment of the same size. If the force gets applied directly in line with the hinge, you can see that the area of this rectangle goes to zero, which means that the force stops creating a moment about the hinge. That was a quick look at the magnitude of a moment. The direction is the other key part. It's influenced by two things, the direction of the force and where the force is acting relative to the point of rotation. To see how these two factors affect the direction of a moment, let's take a quick look at a teeter-totter. Here, the teeter-totter pivots in the middle, so we can push or pull on either side of the pivot. A downward force applied on the left side of the pivot makes the teeter-totter rotate counterclockwise. If we slide that force to the right side, it makes the teeter-totter rotate clockwise instead. Flip the direction of the force so that it pulls up, and now it creates a counterclockwise rotation. And slide that upward force back to the left side, and it creates a clockwise rotation again. We can figure out the direction of a moment by looking at which way the force would make the object rotate. The door and teeter-totter examples are good for getting an intuitive feel for what moments are. There's more nuance to calculating moments than we can cover in this quick introduction, so we'll cover that in other videos.